Making flowcharts in Creately is super easy. I'm going to show you how. Let's go. So let's have a look at Creately. Now there's an old version of Creately that requires Flash and then there's this new version as well. So we want to make sure we're on the new one. So let's click on sign in to get started. So when we sign in, always good to sign in with Google. So just choose your school account for that. We've got an upgrade option and if I click on that, we should see what we get for free. So for free you get five public documents. All right, one folder, only three collaborators, and that's fine. That's all we need for this. Come in here and we would click on Add Document. And it gives us a whole heap of different options here. We want to look at Flowchart. Okay, so it gives us all of our Flowchart symbols. Let's start with a Start End. Drag that on. And as you can see, when you hover over those little pluses you can add another option so let's click on a decision for example and it already has those little arrows just click and then we can say what we want it to be all right so just using that example and then if we're happy we're going to go with um, another decision notice how it puts in an automatic little yes the other one uh, draw io doesn't do that so this is a a nice option but we don't want it to say yes we want it to say happy or sad so let's put in another decision over here so we can change that text but we actually want to change this decision to a process so we'll just delete that and try again smile and then over here if you're sad again we want to get rid of this decision and change it to a process so let's just backtrack a bit and get rid of some of these and start over Add another one. Now because this is a process it doesn't have a, an option for a, some sort of action here. Still sad. And I want that to go back around to this one. So I should be able to delete that and I'd like to attach that. Yeah, there we go. Click on that. There we go. So we just delete that process. We keep that arrow. I'm moving that arrow to the middle and then it connects it like that. So change this one to a no. Don't have an end option, so if I just drag in another terminator, or end. Grab a line from the line tool. Make them like that. Make sure it's got the right arrows on it. There you go, simple flowchart. Don't forget with this one, you need to export it. You can export it as a, probably a PNG or a JPEG, which are the image files. So let's go with PNG. And if you're using Chrome, it will show up down here. Should have given it a name, really. Perfect. Export that again. I'm going to open it, it looks like this, so I can embed that into my uh, slideshow or document or whatever I'm doing with it. Okay, awesome. Thanks for watching.